Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to code your BMW E39 using Bluebus. Now, for those of you who don't know, Bluebus is a system that allows you to integrate Bluetooth into the standard headset or the standard um, in-car infotainment system. Um, now, obviously, they didn't have Bluetooth when these cars came out in 2003, or it wasn't a commonly used technology in the car world you certainly didn't expect to get it on your car so um blue bus actually gives you the ability to install it into your car it just works on the mode settings here so you've got your tape yeah. radio um and where your cd changer would be this replaces it and gives you full bluetooth capability but what it also gives you the ability to do is change certain settings within the car's computer that you can't normally do so on these cars so um if we go to settings here and actually one of the one of the initial ones that you'll see straight away is that we've got um that's our coolant temperature display at the moment um, it's a live display of the the um the temperature um so as you can see we've got cool cooling um, audio and everything like that but if we go to comforts we can actually do a few different features here um let me just zoom you in so we've got lock um and this is the speed at which the car will automatically lock all of its doors so um i like to have that set to 20. i did have it set to 10. um i found that was too low um just moving around the car park etc it locked all the doors and by the time mrs yell tried to get back in the car um she couldn't so um that that was frustrating so I, i've settled for 20 on there um what at what point do they unlock um we've got position zero so that's when the key is turned completely off you can set it to off so it doesn't unlock and you have to do it by pulling the handle twice or you've got position one which is sort of the initial leaving the ignition on but turning the engine off um type thing so i have it on on zero so i can just does it when i get out of the car um blinkers now this is the big one um that a lot of people want to um code in uh that is the ability for uh, a one touch indicator that gives you three flashes just like this so i've got mine set to three if we we can set it to four and as you can see it does it all real time as five um you can you can have it up to 10 i think or up to eight so i set mine to three that's what a lot of modern cars have which is handy changing on the motorway etc um changing lanes so that's one that i like to have and then you've also got park lights um some of these cars didn't come with parking lights as standard um and that is basically a a light that comes on all you do is turn your indicator on turn the engine off turn the light off um and then put your indicator on um and it illuminates one side of the car so that if you're parked on a on a busy road at night the car's illuminated so people don't crash into it basically uh, it's a nice thing and now auto zoom i don't actually know what that is um i think it's to do with the sat nav by the looks of it um so it's just a setting you can modify on the sat nav which makes it easier um but uh yeah so those are a few of the features in terms of live data um this is metadata for the um music temps we've got ambient temperature you can see it's now changed to 13 degrees oil temperature 46 degrees um just handy little features to have um i find anyway um and then as you can see we've got a dash obc so everything um sort of works through the onboard computer here as well um which is handy yeah you've got all, all the features you'd come to expect um if you turn that off nothing i haven't really noticed that much difference between if you turn that on and off obviously change the language and the bm bluetooth as well so um yeah there's a lot of really really good features that you can code into these cars um i just you know i think blue bus is is a must for anyone with an older bmw like this it fits all E generation BMWs uh, that didn't come with Bluetooth as standard, E38, E46, etc. Um, and it'll integrate whether you have the sat nav or not. Um, so if you don't have the sat nav, don't be put off. It'll work absolutely fine with the other cars that don't have those. But um, yeah, it's just a nice 
little feature um, that you can add to your car. Real retails around $200, um, a little bit more now, I think. So um, head over to thebluepass.com to find it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what things you'd like to code into your E3095 series or E generation car. A lot of these cars don't aren't available with coding, so um, it's handy to be able to make these little changes through a module that fits into the car and also gives you the added functionality of the Bluetooth as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. Cheers.